You know, Edgar Wright went from doing an amazing comedy horror movies to now what may be the best movie of the year. At least so far, we've still got two months. I am the Kaiju no Kami, and this is my quick review for Last Night in Soho. This video is brought to you by the Kaiju no Kami store, creativitybydesignllc.com slash shop. You can buy all kinds of cool Kaiju no Kami merchandise. We've got t shirts And thank you for your business. Now back to the review. When you've got worries, all the noise in the hurry seems to help, I know. How can I describe this movie without giving a lot of spoilers to make it interesting that you want to go out and see it rather than spoil the whole thing where you're like, eh, why do I need to see it anymore? So this is going to be tough, but basically let's try it this way. It's about a girl named Ellie who lives out in the countryside in the UK. She gets accepted to a fashion school in London, moves to London, lives in this dorm, doesn't like it, finds this house that is running out of room, rents out the room, and then she has some nightmares about this girl that used to live there named Sandy, who's played by Anya Taylor-Joy, and she finds herself in Sandy's body during the 1960s as she's trying to be all glamorous, she wants to be a singer, only everything she wants to do leads to this life of sex and prostitution, who her pimp is played by Matt Smith, Yes, the doctor, Matt Smith, who does an amazing job. In fact, all the actors in this movie are amazing. We've got Diana Rigg, who's from the grandma from Game of Thrones and was Tracy Bond in On Her Majesty's Secret Service. We've got Terrence Stamp. Just all around a great cast. It's phenomenal. The movie is atmospheric and suspenseful. Anyway, so Ellie is living Sandy's life every night when she goes to sleep and she starts to see Sandy's breakdown into madness. And then a murder happens and she has to solve the murder. It's very interesting, very well done. Visually, it is stunning. Like, we'll have these really creepy looking ghosts that kind of have no faces, they're kind of skewed. Ellie will be running around in a transition between like the ghosts and that they're actually the people that she actually bumps into, thinking they're ghosts and vice versa. Best visuals are when Sandy is walking around, you see Ellie in the mirror, like she's walking down the staircase and you just see her reflection in all these different little mirrors, which is pretty damn awesome. However, the highlight scene for me is during this dance number when Matt Smith's character is dancing with Sandy, but then they keep switching between Sandy and Ellie. And it seems like a seamless transition. I'm not sure if they did the dance twice and just cut where you would have it. But if they did that way, you'd probably see some type of jump cut for Matt Smith because there's no way he'd be able to get back in the same position unless they just had something choreographed for that. The other theory is that they just switched places off camera. Either way, it was incredibly shot. Overall, I just had a great time with this movie. The music is intense. It's a lot of 60s music blended in with modern synthetic horror movie music that you're used to that gets you blown blood pumping is like boom 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 so well done again well shot yeah really feel sorry for this girl and the plot twist well there was one little aspect to the plot twist that I kind of figured was going to be the case when it actually happened I was like damn that was cleverly done and okay this is even though I saw that coming I didn't see this part coming wow that is really impressive and then when the movie ended I was like damn that was a damn good movie. I hope I didn't spoil too much. It's kind of hard to describe without spoiling a lot. I definitely recommend if you are a horror fan or even an Edgar Wright fan, this one is truly worth checking out. I saw in the Dolby Theater and I am glad that this is the movie I saw in the Dolby Theater because it was so immersive. Like I said, the soundtrack just kept you engaged in the film. The visuals were stunning. I can't wait to see this again, and it is definitely worth picking up on 4K. Overall, I give Last Night in Soho a solid, near-perfect 10 out of 10. Have you seen Last Night in Soho? If so, what did you think of it? What's your favorite Edgar Wright movie? Let me know in the comments. Click like, subscribe, the bell notification, whatever else YouTube has you clicking on to support me. You can support me on Patreon at Kaiju no Kami, Facebook Kaiju no Kami, Instagram Kaiju no Kami, and my website at creativitybydesignllc.com, especially the Kaiju no Kami shop at creativitybydesignllc.com slash shop. Until next time, bye!